Good evening and welcome to day two of the National Hunt Week 9. And we've got 12 races for you today coming from Sandown. We're over at Ferry House for one with a group due chase. And we're off to Taunton. Uh, it's probably raining. And then we're off to Newbury where I'm fairly sure it's definitely raining because the ground conditions there are heavy. But the first race will be continuing over at Sandown where we've got the Heroes Handicap Hurdle over 2 mile 6. That will be followed by the PP Novices Handicap Hurdle where I'll poke up that there's definitely a horse in there that I think uh, will take some beating which is my musty mutt from Stu Gray, won a G2 novice last week also previously won a hurdle race but drops into this hurdle handicap off a weight of 88 so I think that may well be a shoe in so good luck to the trainer there um, then we've got the Isha Novices Handicap Hurdle at Sandown. Over two mile one for the Novices. Run there. A few trainers got a couple in there. St. Domingo for Martin... Uh, sorry, St. Domingo for Martin Leedham's just got the one. But Meadow Court and Spring Collection for Kevin Minahan. Stu Gray's got the Kinky Moore and Party Doctor. Uh, I think Galabala, the top weight hurdler there. Uh, David Robertson's probably got a good chance. Likes the conditions. So good luck there. Then we've got the Bobby Joe Chase over at Fairy House. Which is the three mile one group two. Nice field there of about nine. Battle for Sparta for Joshua Sutherland, 169 rated. Fort Lauderdale, Port Rhodes really hasn't hit any form at all this season. Uh, maybe shouldn't have come back as a six-year-old, but he's rated 171. And then Princess Lady Jane for John Morgan. And the You Do Who Do for David Robertson. Then race 17 will be the Royal and Bath and West Handicap Chase at Taunton where Martin will slip into the commentary box and then eight, and then he's got the Glastonbury Tour handicap hurdle and then he finishes up at Taunton with the starters orders the qualifiers the hurdle leg seven and the chase less leg seven and then he goes off to Newbury where I'm pretty sure it is raining it's got a three mile group two chase to start the day there which is the Denman chase where Ebony James of John Morgan looks good Time to Kill, Joshua Sutherland, Tango Orange of Kevin Meenahan, all previous winners. And then standout king for Darren Howes, who's had uh, three seconds in a row. Good luck to try and uh, get that one into the first position and the winner's enclosure. Then race 22, it's a game spirit chase over two mile one. It's a group two, Seb go to post there. Previous winners of Penny Fiction of John Morgan won its last two starts. Blank de Moir for Darren Thompson, seems to flip flop first, fourth, first, fourth. So should come first again today if we follow the trends. Then race 23, it'll be the bumper. It's the winter bumper, it's a G2. Usual suspects go to post there, so good luck if you got one in that. And then the last race of the day will be the Betfair Handicap Chase, over two mile four, and a nice big field there. Got a few down the bottom with some carrying little weight, which will be things like Martin's Music for Stu Gray. Bon chance and Martin Leadham will have a chance. They have there are not particularly many previous winners in there. If we go up towards the top of the weights, Black Widow for Molly at Surfer. They'll be carrying uh, not too much weight, it's a 130 rated hurdler, so good luck. Summertime Blues with Derek Hinton. Nevertheless, for Carl Arrogante, so good luck with that one, and I hope you have a really good day.